What's going on guys, Manny here and welcome back to Sunday League with Under The Radar FC. Today we will be playing in the SFL League Cup quarter final against The Wall. We've had many battles against them so far, the most previous a nail biting final in the playoff final last year. There's a look back at that. Sam, you know what Sam's gonna do in this position, he's gonna shoot, lets it go and it's gone all the way in. It's Eric outside of the boot uh, to Eri. Eri takes it past the goalkeeper and he's got the open goal. Left it across, across the box, all the way to the back post. And there to tap it in is Danny Bassett, it's game on. Eric's got his arms out, beckoning for the ball. He sees that Sam Bailey in the box instead and Sam tucks it away to make it 3-1. Jeff going towards goal, can he go one-on-one -on -one with John and score? It's gone in off the post, does it come off the post and come back out? No, the referee's given the goal and I think it's the right decision. And the referee blows his whistle, UTR have done it. No one can say otherwise now, I'm beaten in the league. We've done the playoff final, so we officially have won the first ever SFL uh, league title. And what a way to do it as well. The lineup for today is as followed. We've got Tyler in goal with John out injured. Brad at right back, Ben coming in next to Tolu at centre back, Reggie left back, myself, Malachi and Joseph in midfield, Sam on the right, Thomas through the middle and Junior on the left. On the bench, we've got Adem, but probably not going to use him as he's just recovering from a leg break. So pretty much leaving us with Benny, Eri, Fred and Jordan. And Eric misses out today through suspension. Afternoon, boys. Afternoon. How are we feeling today, boys? Good. How are you? I'm amazing. I can't lie to you, like, and, I was, and I was thinking this on the way here. I haven't had a, had a Sunday in a very long time when I've enjoyed <coughs> watching football, enjoyed being in football. And every Sunday that I've had and that happened, it's been with you, lot. So all I need is, let's go enjoy it again, boys. Today's about us completely, completely, because we played them a hundred times, we know how they play. But all it is, is <coughs> us dictating the play, controlling the tempo from, the, from minute one to 90, and that's how we win today's game. One, yes, it is a cup game. Yes, it is a quarterfinal. Quarter Every single time I, we have these sort of games, say it. Play the game, not the occasion. So far, so far. Calm heads with the this game today. Manny, do you want to say anything before you? Yeah, boys, let's um, just really go out there and enjoy it. It's another day. It's actually a good day to play football. Everyone keeps asking me, oh, how's your season? How's your season? <coughs> it's not been a great season for us, but we need to use days like this to step it up. Because we know we've performed way below our level. We've lost way more games than we're used to losing. And some of us can't control it. Some of us can't deal with it. But today, let's use this as an opportunity to make our season better. So we can look back and be like, okay, it wasn't that bad. Yes, it's below our standards, but let's up it today. Okay, so we're back at Irith Leisure Centre for today's home fixture. We're in the black kit. The wall are going to be in the white kit as usual. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to get back on the pitch and get involved once again. Um, also, a reminder to you guys, you can now purchase the UTR home kit. Oh, we've partnered up, partnered up with uh, Classic Football Shirts. The link will be down in the description below. But we're underway. The wall up against UTR. Uh, how's it going to pan out? Tolu on the ball, uh, plays it into Joseph. Joseph scouts a pass forward, plays it in behind for Reggie. Reggie throwing on goal against the goalkeeper. He's gotten there first and it looks like it's going to trickle in though. It's hit the post. And it comes back out, they've cleared it away. A couple of UTR shouts uh, muted by the referee, asking for a penalty. Let us know your thoughts on this. I think it just is a collision. Almost Reggie going into the goalkeeper, if anything. I don't know. Uh, but they put it out and uh, that was a big chance. So close, no goal. Brad on the ball at the back. Malachi dropping deep to try and get on it. Goes back to Ben. Uh, ben scouting, trying to find an option out of defence. Uh, goes and plays a bit of a short pass. Number 15, by the way, he's picked up the ball, plays it to his left. That is ex-professional footballer Marvin Sordell. A uh, very, very good player when he was playing. Uh, played in the England under-21 setup and was uh, killing it there as well. So just one for you to note there. Anyway, we've dealt with it and we move on. Uh, I think that was offside anyway. Uh, ben plays it to me. Tried to accelerate away from Sordell. was not having any of it. A uh, little bit of a late challenge there on the 17. Referee's pulled it back for a free kick. Loose from me. With that free kick, 17 takes it and it goes to absolutely no one. Goal kick. Ball bouncing back to the five. Plays a ball. Looks like it might have been a bit short for a moment. Thomas gets there. Gets a deflection from the goalkeeper's kick. Comes here to Sam. Thinks about the shot and gets it all wrong. No goal in sight there. Ben uh, looking once more to try and set someone free. And it's Bradley down this right-hand side. He's in plenty of space. It's a brilliant pass, by the way. Cuts it back into the box. Thomas wanted front post. It drops back here. Sam's blocked it. Comes back to Brad, who is, I think, on side. Goes into Thomas. That's a challenge there from the left back. And he does well and puts it out for a throw-in. 
So UTR throwing, taken by Brad. Ben's got a bit of room, takes a touch there, tries to flick it over Marvin Sordell. He's probably seen plenty of those in his footballing career. Plays it onto 17, his pass is loose, cut out by myself. Uh, comes here to Junior. Uh, Junior, two wall shirts around him, can't get away through. And Jerome, the captain for the wall, will try and get them on the break. It's played to the number nine, Meeks here. Down this right hand side, I'm able to track back and make a challenge there and keep possession. It did definitely hit my hand. Referee didn't want to give anything though. And we advance away with the ball with Joseph. Skips past the 17. He's got Junior ahead of him, plays it to Junior now. Can we make something out of this from counter attack to counter attack? And we get a corner. No, it's a goal kick. Fair enough. Well then, uh, 17 on the ball. Plays it to the two there. Cuts it inside to Marvin Sordell. Uh, little jolt away from me. I've lost the shin pad in the moment there as well. Played it to number seven. Uh, looks to get it back there. Flooding a couple of shirts towards the box. Cuts inside there. Sordell plays it to the edge of the box. Comes back to this man. Falls back to the nine and it's a goal for the wall. Out of almost nothing. Pretty much their first real attack of the game. And they found the back of the net. And it's a man who doesn't mind scoring against us. It's big meeks for them. Sordell cuts inside, plays a pass to the edge of the box. The shot is deflected by Reggie, falls to the number nine, and Tyler hasn't really got much of a chance. A lot of us could have done a lot better there. I'll be real, uh, we were very passive defensively. I don't think we gave them enough respect there. And they punished us for it. It's Thomas sets this one back to me. It's a ball over the top for Sam to chase. Sam threw in on goal. The number five is able to get back and recover. Bradley not happy with his effort there. Ben with it at the back under pressure from Sordell. Bradley knocks it in first time into Malachi. Nice little spin skill I take over into Thomas. He flicks around the corner. Left back's done well to intervene. Throw in taken from Brad. Uh, ben on the ball. Time and space to deliver. It's a ball into the box. Joseph gets there, slips a little bit. And that's a fantastic recovery challenge from the captain. Ball played in uh, there to the seven. Ben deals with it. Uh, I'm going to pass it on to Brad. He's uh, trying to scout a pass up the pitch. Thomas with the flick on. Sam didn't go for it. I think he believes he's offside. Malachi keeps it in play. Goes here to Ben. Um, plays it to me. Trying to see if there's any options for this. Into Joseph. Little drop of the shoulder. Tries to return the favour. Drops here to Sam now. Sam can't get the pass through to Thomas. Five. Can't really uh, clear it properly for the wall. It's Joseph. Sees a pass deep in behind for Junior and it's just gone just about beyond. He can't keep it in play. So um, over here with the number 20 for the wall. And oh, Sam, that's not a nice challenge at all. He's totally missed the ball. He's caught the man. Bit of malice in that as well, if I'm honest. And surely he's going to pick up a card here. We'll see it one more time. 20 on the ball. Sam lets frustration get the better of him and that's not a nice tackle at all. But he's caught him and definitely the 20 is never ever going to be happy with that one there. Uh, Sam under the hot sun letting his emotions get the better of him and the 20 might do so too. Needs to be careful here. UTR throw taken by Brad. Uh, five's jumping there. He's climbed all over Tolu. Nothing given though. Drops here to Thomas. Hits off of Sam. It's a ricochet. And it goes out for a goal kick. Right decision from the ref. Cleared up field. Tolu wins the first ball. Comes into me, I chest it and move it on. Goes to Sam there. Five steps in, wins possession back for the wall. Uh, goes through the gap onto the number seven. Trying to find a little bit of room to get out of there. I'm able to escape just for a moment. Try and play it into Sam. Miscommunication, I thought he was coming short, he was going long. Uh, Sordell picks up the ball for the wall. 20 takes over and the wall have possession back. Ben, um, trying to see if he can find a player in the black shirt. It's cut out by the number two, but he's tripped on the ball. And we might be able to get him behind there. Bradley's pass into Sam. He's not able to take it under control. Brad's not happy. Sam's not happy. And we've lost possession. 17 mis uh, miscontrols it. Uh, and I'm going to take it over. Brad uh, looking once more for the run of Sam. It curves in field to Thomas. Eight gets there first. Thomas has done enough to win the ball back. Junior takes over. Clipped at the hills. Hits off the arm of the skipper, the number eight. But um, I think it ricocheted off his thigh. We still keep possession though, or we get it back rather. Uh, Joseph on it now. Back to Junior. Little one, two. Uh, Joseph away from the five, gets crowded out by wall shirts. Joseph, can he get his body in front? He does, and he wins the free kick for UTR. What do you guys think? Penalty or no penalty? What would you give if you're a referee? I know you guys are always in the comments. Personally for me, tilt off his thigh onto his arm. Not too much he can do about it. I don't think that's a pen, but we'll take the free kick. UTR free kick then. Junior standing over it. Whips it into the box. Then it goes. It's gone all the way in. 
Is that a goal or not? What's, what's happened there? The goalkeeper's ended up on his bottom. I didn't see anyone around him. Brad and Joseph are contesting the decision made by the referee or linesman. I, I, I feel like they might be about to rule out a goal. There's been a flag for something, but we have to see this to make sure. Junior's ball in. It goes in there. Reggie's on the floor, but that's nothing to do with the goalkeeper. He's ended up, he's, I think he's just tripped on the ground. The goalkeeper's got stuck on the ground and conceded there. So that should be a UTR goal. Let me know your thoughts on that down in the comment section below. What do you think? We were hearing something about an offside somewhere. I didn't see any offside. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. But the UTR players cannot believe it. It should be 1-1. The consensus from us on the day was that the referees were saying two different things. So we don't know what they were given in the end. But the goal was chalked off. Less than 10 minutes till half time. It's a free kick taken short. Saw Dell's attempt cleared away by Tolu just over the head of Sam. Drops back here to the number eight. He puts it back into an area for the wall to get to. And that is going to be offside. We've got a bit of a problem though. Reggie's done his hamstring and um, Jordan is going to take his place at left back. Still a goal down. We want to get back into the game, but we're not going to do it like that. Thomas has uh, gone in for a challenge and he's caught the number two there. Albeit accidentally, I think he's caught him maybe with the left arm. Going in there to press. Tries to get the ball, but I think he's let his arm go through there as well. And he's caught him. Yeesh. UTR throwing. Long one by Brad. Flicked on by Joseph. Taken down by Thomas on the turn. He's hit the shot over the bar. And you put a lot of Omar de Queens on him scoring that one. It was a decent effort, but if he had kept it a few inches down, that's 1-1 uh, one, one just before half time. Corner for UTR, taken by Junior, floated into the box. Jordan's there and he directs it to the left and too far there. Jordan has it on the left, plays it into me. Uh, go to play a pass there and I don't know what I saw, but it couldn't have been a black shirt. Falls straight to the wall. Poor, poor, poor. Uh, ben plays it through the gap uh, onto myself. Able to spread the play out wide for Brad here. We've got Sam ahead of him. Uh, Brad tries to find a pass across the field, comes back into me. Didn't really make a decision on what I wanted to do there. Miscontrolled it. Meanwhile, the wall looked to counter. It's the number seven. Brad getting back to try and stop him from doing anything damaging. Uh, he's in the box now. Left footed. Good block from Brad. Junior gets it on the left. Uh, under pressure from the seven. Plays it into Thomas. Thomas trying to find a pass through to Sam there. It's cut out nicely by the defender. Ben with it for UTR. Plays it into my feet. Away from the 17. I've got Sordell in front of me and the 17 again. Just about able to keep possession for UTR there. It's Malachi on the ball. Um, plays it out wide here to Brad. Brad, can he get away through? He's played it through the gap for me. Little flick around the corner. Thomas takes over. Takes it onto his left. Thomas goes goalwards. Oh, what a save. Down to his left from the goalkeeper. And the referee blows for half time. That could have been a perfect end into the half. Right at the end. Brilliant swivel from Thomas. Gets something on it with his left. And that's a great save down to his le left from the goalkeeper. Marth not happy with the decision from the officials and he's letting them know about it. Trying to get his point across in the best way possible. It's not going to change anything though. If I'm being so honest, yeah, I could come in and from blind and lose my head because that was nowhere near good enough. What was bad about that wasn't defensively, transition, yeah, cool. But our quality on the ball is so bad right now. And that is what's giving them chances. What, what have they had in front of goal against us? Nothing. We gave them a goal, if we're being honest. Yes, cool, we can talk about players being in, in certain pockets and whatnot, whatnot, whatnot. But if we can't get that ball down on our feet and actually flip and step in, it's not good enough. Cool, we, we can complain about the pitch 101 times. How many times have you played it? It's not an excuse anymore. Calm down, though, because we are losing it right now. Here we go, into the second half. Just the goal down, but it looked a bit promising towards the end. Can we build on it and can we get back into this game? Loose uh, ball from the wall. Ben steps in there. Uh, ben plays it into me there. I wasn't sure that it was even for me. I thought he was just going to step in and go past me, but a bit of miscommunication there. I should have dealt with it better. It's a ball played into the seventh uh, from the 14. Brad gets a toe to it. Looks like it might go out of play. No, 20 is going to keep it in. The wall keep this attack alive. Number 20, Bakes with his left. Uh, step over there. Cuts it back to the edge of the box. And Marvin Sordell shows us just the touch of a professional, or in this case, ex-professional. Makes it 2-0, a cultured finish into the bottom corner. I have to say I take a big bit of responsibility in that one. 
I could do better and maybe adjust to the pass from Ben expecting it or not. Even though there were little bits of play after that, I do take responsibility. And uh, Marvin Sordell on the score sheet to make it 2-0. So then, this is not looking good at all for us. 2-0 down in this quarter final. Uh, Jordan trying to win the ball for us there. 14 able to get there. Tolu steps in and gets it back for UTR. Flicked around the corner. Jordan under pressure from the seven. Ben comes across and sweeps up nicely. Uh, tries to get out of defense. He's drawn the foul as well. Good play. UTR substitution. Eri is going to take Malachi's spot in the midfield. We're also going to bring on Fred in place of Sam. Can those two help us get back in the game? It's Joseph up against two wall players there. Tries to get through the gap. He does so quite well and draws a foul. It's a free kick just inside their half. That free kick is going to be taken by Jordan. Left footed, swung into the box towards the goalkeeper. Dropped it for a second. Looked like it might have been going over the line, but he got there. You've got to find a way back into this. Eri wins the ball off against the 17. Uh, challenge there from the two. Fred's gone to the ground. Seems to be in a little bit of pain. Joseph's put the two to the ground. 20 takes over. Fakes away from Eri. Uh, gets a bit of jam against Bradley, but Brad keeps it for us. And uh, the referee stopped play now. Fred, let's see if he's going to be okay. Seems to have been caught a little bit there. I thought he got the ball on the initial tackle, which it looks like, but I can't really tell. The replay's quite fast there. And uh, yeah, Fred's back to his feet anyway. So Tolu trying to step in away from the seven. Does so. Lays it into Thomas. Thomas flicks it around the corner to Fred. Fred threw in with the goalkeeper. I think the bobble's taking the ball away from him. A little bit unfortunate. Maybe on a flat pitch, something different would have happened. Bradley's flick over back to Ben. Ben tries to keep it away from Sordell. Nicks it off his feet. And the wall growing with confidence with every minute that um, goes by. Sordell showing his style and trying to flex on us there as well. Up against Eri. Still keeping possession. Calm and composed. You can tell the difference. Uh, you can see there, but um, 17's lost it there. Uh, Eri's giving it straight back to them. 17 plays a pass through. It's Tolu up against the seven. Does well and shields it through to Tyler. Over an hour played. Uh, 20's been a bit of a handful on that side. It's Ben getting pulled back by the seven. That's a UTR free kick. So Tolu on the ball. Plays it into Thomas. Bit of a difficult one to deal with there under pressure. Flicked over the top. As Thomas, UTR win it back though. Uh, comes here to me up against the 17. Thomas takes it nicely. Uh, Jordan down out this left hand side and um, it's cut out, goes out for a throw, takes it quickly into Junior. Junior lifts it, far beyond my reach, can get a full stretch and the wall might be able to counter. It's a strong runner in there, skipper Jay plays it through to the 14. Can he go towards goal and make something happen, make it a three for the wall? Slips there, uh, skipper slips as well and it's going to fall to Eri. Number two brings it over the halfway line. Here is uh, the number eight Jay, very strong, powerful runner able to carry the ball up the pitch and he does it quite well for them since the 17 there's gaps opening here for the wall the 2-0 we're a bit desperate right now and you can see it showing comes back to the 14 lets the shot go way onto the track it's joseph on the ball 14 uh, trying to take that off of him joseph slips there hits his hand for a moment referee allows play to go on joseph still keeps it going plays it into junior he can't get under control it's a difficult thing on this pitch because once it does that bounce it's very difficult to control the ball but there are two teams on it and there's a team dealing with it better. Junior with a corner for UTR. Can we make something count from this? Very windy day, can we get a good delivery? The wind takes it and it goes off the pitch. The Thomas gets the ball first, does well to show his strength and shield it up against the eight. Plays it back here to Tolu. Tolu on to Ben. Ben plays it in field to me. Got Eri out wide, gonna use him. Goes out to Eri. Uh, takes a couple of touches there, plays it down the line for Fred. Fred up against, I think it might be a 27 in that corner there. Can he get around him? No, it's fantastic defending. Still running out of time. 17 brings it down, plays it in there. I take over. Joseph, lovely flick away from number eight. Plays it out now for Junior to take over. Junior up against a 33. A 33 against 33. Can he cut inside and make something happen? Skips away from the 17. Referee's also in the way there somewhere. Uh, Jordan takes over. Uh, he's got Joseph making a run in the box. Joseph skips away from the five. Joseph gets it into the box. Thomas is there. Oh, it's gone just wide of the post. And I promise you, that's gone just past my head as well. If Thomas doesn't touch that, I've got a free header. Who knows if I'd have scored or not. I guess we'll never find out, but we have a corner. Taken from this left-hand side. Junior with the corner. It's too far and yet again carried by the wind. We're going to try and play out from the back. It's Joseph here and they've initiated a very high press. You can see they've got a game plan and they're trying to see it out. They've even put some of our best players under pressure. It's gone out of play. 
it's a throw from Tyler uh, out here to Eri. Eri onto Joseph. Joseph helps it on into the air there. Uh, it's Fred up against the five. Eri takes over, brings it down on his chest. 17 on his heels. They're calling for a handball. He flicks it over the five. He's brought to ground, and that's a free kick to UTR right on the edge of the box. Standing over is Junior. Looks like it's going to be him. Right foot hits it, and it's cannoned off the crossbar, headed behind by the two, and that was so very close to making it 2-1 and giving us a lifeline in this game. Junior looked confident, stepped up, right footed, and an inch or so below, and that's that's 2-1. Corner taken by Jordan, headed away by the two, and that's going to be dealt with. It's Benny going to take my place on the pitch. It's my first start, and I have to say it's far, far from a good performance, but hopefully Benny can do something special for us. UTR throwing. Tolu with it at the halfway line. Long throw. Flicked up in the air by Thomas. Brought down here by Junior. Junior up against the five. Can he win us something? Gets us a corner. He's had a few corners that were off, but it's not going to stop him. He's a man full of confidence. Can he get a good delivery in? Junior takes that then. Right footed. Floated to the back post. Going up. And oh, it's ended in the back of the net. It was Tolu up at the back post. I'm not sure if he got the final touch or not, but with less than 10 minutes to go, UTR back in the game. Junior gets the corner right, puts it into the area we need it. And I think that's actually an own goal from the 27. Well done, Junior. He's been in very good form in the last few weeks and we know that he's got plenty more to give. But Sordell tries to take that over. Tolu is fouled there by the 55. The wall um, are starting to fall to the pressure a little bit. Benny onto Joseph. Joseph into Thomas. Uh, five gets there for a moment. Comes back here to Joseph. Out to Junior and it's not clicking. There still is time. Uh, Jerome brings it over the halfway line. Eri gets into the ground. There's been a few fouls that the referee's let go, but he's not going to let that one go. It's going to be a yellow card for Eri. Unfortunately, he's one of the people that will go into the book. From that free kick, 17 with the headband. Bradley's thrown the 55 to the ground. Right on the edge of the box is going to be a free kick to the wall. Standing over that free kick, I think, is the 20. Lays it off to Sordell. Right foot whips it, and that's so close to making it 3-1. Not long left in the game. In fact, less than five minutes plus whatever additional time. It's Ben here to Eri. Eri tries to get it to Joseph. It's cut by the 17. Eri's gone down injured there as well, just off your screen. And Tolu has blocked the pass to the 17 with his arm. I think he's going to get himself into the book. They wanted to take it quickly. Referee's having none of it. But Eri, in the process, has gotten injured. So um, I'm going to have to make my way back onto the pitch and take his spot. We hope that he has a speedy recovery. Um, but yeah, not nice to see any of our players going off injured or any player that fact going off injured. Um, but yeah, still got time. Free kick for the wall, right on the edge. 17, leaves it to the two. Poor effort, it's off the wall. Two keeps it alive, headed away by Brad. Drops back down to the number two, uh, trying to find a way through. We don't want to foul him. We've given away quite a few free kicks in the second half. Bradley sweeps it away, comes here to Fred. 27 steps in, drops here to Thomas, takes a touch, gets it over the halfway line. Fred is onside. He's got Benny to his left. Uh, Junior at the far post. Fred takes a touch and he slams it wide of the target. He scored a brilliant goal the other week against Dons, but couldn't replicate that today. It is 2-1 still. And he knows he could do better. But it's a nice ball from Thomas. You can see he's onside. He's in our own half. He's got the pace, so he doesn't need to be offside anyway. The ball holds up a little bit, so the touch may be a bit under and has to steady himself, but he just smashes it and it's off target. UTR throwing. Bradley with the long one into the box. We're into the 91st minute and it goes off on Thomas's back and makes it 2-2. Out of absolutely nothing, just a long throw into the box and a bit of hope. And it's 2-2. If you're in the right positions, you can score at any time. And that's what he's done there. We've not given up. We've been quite poor today all around and Thomas has just come off his back even it's not even a header it's just come off his back Somehow we've managed to claw our way back into the game. It's Joseph now. Uh, Sordell trying to put him under pressure. He's up against the 17, flicks it around the corner to Junior. Junior takes over. He's got Thomas and Benny with him. Goes for a shot from distance and it wasn't ever really happening. 14 up against Jordan. 14 uh, tries to step overs there. Junior wins the ball off him. Uh, Jordan, little push on the 14. And he's got, oh, he's gone back in there on Jordan. He's gone back in there on Jordan. I don't think there was too much contact. Jordan's going to make the most of it as a lot of players would. 
step over, slipped, Junior came, won the ball. Jordan gets, gave him a little nudge there, which was a bit cheeky. And then he's gone and pushed him in the face there. I don't know if there was an elbow. He's calling for an elbow. I don't know if it was that. Um, but both players are going to get a yellow card from the referee. 14, not happy with it at all. Jordan takes the free kick. It's uh, Skip Thomas. He goes through and Fred is there. Oh, it's been carried through by the wind. Are there any more chances in this game? It's Thomas onto Joseph. Joseph onto Junior. Junior brings it down. He's got the 33 in front of him. Can he find a way through to goal? Plays it into the box. Brought down by the eight. Comes here to me. I take a touch. Play it into the net. But it's been pulled back for an offside. I'm not sure if there was an offside in it. But the linesman is adamant. Flicked on there by Joseph. I think from this angle, he looks offside. If we had another angle, I'd be able to tell you more. But maybe the lino's got it right. There it is, the final whistle. The game goes straight to penalties, guys. We've been here before, especially in the last few weeks. Can we come out victorious? Here we are then, penalties. No one likes when it has to go this far, really. 17 steps back, looks quite confident. Referee's gonna give him the signal. Steps up, can he put it away? Does just that, just beyond the reach of Tyler. Fred on it for UTR, steps up, slips. Oh, it's saved by the wall, goalkeeper. It's unfortunate for Fred. That could happen to anyone. Today it's him, just loses his footing as he strikes it and the goalkeeper gets a strong save on it. Sordell took his finish in the game quite well and he doesn't make any mistake with that one. Confident penalty, we know and expect that from him. Bit of mind games between Jordan and the goalkeeper here. Just throws it back at Jordan, but can he keep his calm, stay composed and convert the penalty for us to keep us in the game? It's 2-0 currently to the wall. Can he make it 2-1? Jordan steps up, left-footed, sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. Confident penalty. Love that. Next up for the wall is number five. Up against Tyler is a big figure in goal. And he shows just why. Oh, what a save from Tyler. Down to his left. We have an opportunity to get on level terms. Number five stepped up. Made it obvious, but that's a great save, I have to say. Well done, Tyler. Ben for UTR, right-footed, places it into the bottom corner, no issues there, and he lets the goalkeeper know. 20 for the wall. Ooh, it's a risky one, but he's gotten it exactly right. Junior, a man that I trust on penalties. Ooh, that's also very confident. Calm and collected. 33, long run-up, steps up. Ooh, he's cannon that. He has cannon that. Joseph for UTR, loves to shoot out, and that's why. Tidy, tidy pen, very tidy. 14, oh, he's just placed it, sent the keeper the wrong way. Oh, I don't know what he's saying to Tyler there. That means it comes down to the skipper for the final penalty for us. Can he keep his call cool and get us back into this? Oh, the goalkeeper's guessed the right way, and that is gonna be it. The wall advanced to the next stage of the SFL Cup. And I have to say, based off how we played today, they deserve it. And um, they, they've had a lot of problems this season with fielding the team, but they stuck together for this game. Pulled in Marvin Sordell as well, which was big for them. I heard there was also rumors of Jordan I being registered to them as well. I don't know how true that is. Um, but yeah, I have to say congratulations to the wall. Wish, wish you all the best in the next round. And if you can go all the way and win it, even better. But yeah, until next time, guys. Let us know your thoughts down in the comment section below. It's been a poor showing from us, poor showing from myself as well. I'm not going to hide from that at all. Um, but yeah, we ask that you just please stick with us and uh, help us to get back to where we can be. If you want to see more of our stuff, make sure to check out our socials down in the description below or under the radar FC on TikTok, on uh, Instagram, as well as Twitter too. So if you want to check out all that stuff, it's always there for you guys. And also, reminder that the home kit is now on sale with classic football shirts. Make sure you don't miss out and get yours before they run out. Until next time, guys, I'll catch you soon. Peace.